This is Aaron Dunn speaking. This is my new intro. May God bless every one of you. Hello viewers, this is Aaron Dunn speaking. I'm about to do another Telephones in the Cabin video. As of today, which is August 19th, 2018, at, what time is it now? 5.20 p.m. in the afternoon. So let's get started. Starting off the caller ID boxes. The Bell South CI61 caller ID box. The Radio Shack 250 caller ID system box. And the Radio Shack 433903A, also called the CID 43903A caller ID box. Which now actually just reset it. <laughs> I didn't mean to reset it, everyone, so, um, sorry about that. Anyways, moving on to the quarter trim line telephones. The ATT210, the automatic electric desk phone that my first grandmother gave me, which now she's staying over at her aunt's house. I don't remember why. The Bell South Products 439, the Bell phone's favorite, as made by Northwestern Bell. The Conair Phone PR5001 The Conair Phone SW204 The Conair Phone SW205 Transparent Color The Craig CT502 The Conair Phone CID402MS with Radio and Alarm Clock The Emerson EM2517 The GE29253GE1-B the GE29267 GE2-B with caller ID. The Linux Sound PH543 with caller ID. The Motorola S2634A quarter trim line telephone with scanner of course, since I don't know how it works. Or could it be a pager? The Vintage Sears 329-3442-1550. The Uniden 1260BK. The Unisonic 6750, and finally the U the VTEC CD1103. Now we're moving on to the corded speaker phones without digital answering systems. Almost forgot about this phone right here. This is the GE29297 GE3-A quarter trim line telephone with a radio and alarm clock. Anyways, again, let's go to the corded speaker phones without digital answering systems. The ATT993, the Durabrand PH3235, the older unknown speaker phone, and the newer unknown speaker phone, which is the LCD touch panel phones that I got from both Goodwill and Fred's. The Emerson EM2646, with caller ID, of course. The GE29393G1-A with caller ID. The Linux Sound PH312. The Linux Sound PH319, which actually does work whenever the phone is being picked up, but not the speakerphone, because the speakerphone don't work anyway. The Sony ITID20 with caller ID, of course. Not to mention the Panasonic K. XTS32ATW with caller ID, of course, since it is a two line. That's it for those phones. Now we're going to go to the corded telephones without digital answering systems, of course. I believe I don't have any, which is a shock. Okay, then, now we're going to the cordless speaker phones without digital answering systems. The VTEX CS6919 which is the silver color handset in speaker phone, of course. Then the VTEC CS6919-16, which is red color. I meant to say which is in red color. Now we're going to the cordless telephones without digital answering systems. Here we go. The VTEC CS6114. The VTEC IA5877. The Uniden D1363, or should I call it the Uniden Deck 1363? Then the Uniden D1364BK, which of course I bought from Goodwill. 
I believe that's about it for those phones. Now we're going to go to the, of course, 900 megahertz to DEX 6.0 corded speaker phones with digital answering systems, cordless speaker phones with digital answering systems, corded telephones with digital answering systems, and cordless telephones with digital answering systems. So, here we go. The ATT CO4939. Sorry about the uh, first part of the video. I turned the power off and I didn't mean to. So, uh, anyways, continuing, we have the ATT CO4940. The ATT E5827. The ATT SIN4J SB67118 corporate phone that Philip Broussard calls it. The ATT E1813B. The ATT E05203 base unit. With the second handset. And finally, the third handset. The ATT CO82213. DEX 6.0 cordless speaker phone with digital answering system base unit and its extra handset the ATT T09232A 9 base unit with the second handset and finally the third handset the GE 2581E 3-A base unit the GE 25951EE 1-A this is for the handset list GE28031EE1-B. Then the GE30522E3-A. The Motorola L705CM base unit with digital answering system, of course, and speakerphone, and caller ID. The first handset connected to it. And finally, the rest of the handsets. The Panasonic KXTG6321S. The Panasonic KXT7431B. I think. Let me go and check. Yeah, it is the Panasonic KXTG7431B. I got that correct. The Panasonic KXTG-D223N base unit, of course. Then the Panasonic KX TG3760M base unit. The batteries are right there, right there, and right over here. The Yeniden EXA915 handsetless base unit. The Yeniden DCT648-3 base unit, which the answering system is on, as you can see. Followed by the second and third handsets. The Uniden CXAI5698. The Uniden DXAI5680, also known as the Uniden EXAI5680. The Uniden DXAI8580-2, base unit only. Again, sorry about that. This is the third part of the uh, telephones in the cabin. Sorry about that, everyone. From the last video, because it automatically quit recording whenever I show the Uniden DXA I 8580 2. So, uh, again, let's continue onward. Okay, let's continue onward. The Uniden CXA I 2998 or the Uniden CEZA I 2998 base unit only. The Uniden D 1780 5. Base unit only, with handset number 5 in its place. The VTEC 2468 or the VTEC 2568. The VTEC IA5854. The VTEC CS5121. The newest VTEC DS6121. Followed by the VTEC. Followed by the VTEC CS6124. And then finally. For those phones, I have the VTEC CS6829. Stay tuned for the final part, everyone. Here is the final part to the telephones in the cabin as of today on August 20th or August 19th, 2018. So, we're going to the digital answering systems now. 
the ATT Lucent Technology 1715 Digital Answering System, the ATT 1719 Digital Answering System, the ATT 1722 Digital Answering System, which is turned on side right now, the ATT 1725 Digital Answering System, which is really the ATT Lucent Technology 1725 Digital Answering System. The ATT-1738 Digital Answering System. The ATT-1739 Digital Answering System, which is turned over already. Then the ATT-1740 Digital Answering System. The Bell South 1195 Digital Answering System. The Casio Phone May TA-115 Digital Answering System. I haven't tested it out yet. I think I might have tested it out earlier. But of course, it don't come through when trying to record a call, so sorry about that ladies and gentlemen. Even though the Casio Foamay T115 is upside down, as you can see in this video. Sorry about that. Anyways, moving on. The Conair Phone TAD1212WCSF Digital Answering System. The Conair Phone TAD1220WCS Digital Answering System. The Conair Phone Infinity XS2510 Digital Answering System, which is tapeless. The EM, or should I say the Emerson EM1250 Digital Answering System. The GE29868 Digital Answering System. The GE29868 GE1 The GE29868 GE1-B Digital Answering System. Sorry about that. The GE29875 GE1-B Digital Answering System. The GE2988 GC1-A Digital Answering System. The Panasonic KX-T100B Digital Answering System, which can record calls only on the cars and as well as the next answering systems I'm about to show. The Radio Shack TAD704 Digital Answering System with Car ID. Right behind the Panasonic KX TG6321S is the Radio Shack TAD3808 Digital Answering System. Finally, for the last of the Digital Answering Systems, I have the Sony TAM100 Digital Answering System, which is the digital telephone answering machine. Finally, glad I got all the answering systems in play. Now, the final thing to show for today in this part will be the mechanical bell ringers. Here we go, everyone. This mechanical bell ringer was named, renamed Archer, actually, then again. This Radio Shack, I mean, this uh, mechanical bell ringer was going under the name Archer, but was really branded under the Radio Shack name, which is the Radio Shack 43175A mechanical bell ringer. Watch this. Huh, the second ring don't work. Oh well. That was it for that mechanical bell ringer. Now finally for the last thing I'm gonna show today, this one will be the Radio Shack 43175 mechanical bell ringer. Anyways, watch this. I was doing an extra two rings for just my special subscribers. Anyways, well that was it for the Telephones in the Cabin video as of today, which is August 19th, 2018. Right now it's almost 6 o'clock, I think. I could be wrong. Yeah, it's actually after 6. So anyways, if you have any problems, concerns, or whatever, or any questions, problems, concerns, or whatever, please leave me a message on the YouTube comments box and I'll respond back as soon as I can. So, thank you for watching this video everyone. Please make sure to subscribe to me if you're new. Anyways, well, 
May God bless every one of you. Also, I'm going to be trying to get my laptop soon, so just wanted to remind every one of you that. Anyways, well, may God bless every one of you.